Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to your Winnipeg Jets, let me rephrase that, your Stanley Cup champion Winnipeg Jets. In the last episode, we beat out Ovi and the Washington Capitals in six games to capture the Winnipeg Jets' first Stanley Cup in franchise history. So obviously in the real NHL, the Jets got beat out in four straight by the Anaheim Ducks. I was rooting for the Jets like crazy, the whiteout, it was unreal to watch, but unfortunately they did get kicked out but fortunately for us we have a Stanley Cup ring and it's time to go back to work now so I went ahead and I re-signed a few of the AHL players I left the big guns for right now to show you guys the contracts but I honestly we're at a standstill here with our team so we'll go to the contracts really quickly and just kind of have a look at what our team is going to be looking like for next year and, and like what the hell we're going to do with our goaltending situation so obviously the first line Korea Solani Mark Sh that's not a problem at all. Line number two is going to be Philip Forsberg, Andre Palat, and Thomas Hurdle. That's that, that line was holding it down all year last year. They really seem to click well together, so I'm going to keep that line together. Hopefully, Hurdle and uh, Palat get to be like 86, 87 overall. Then we'll have like a full second line of, of 87s. That would just be nasty. And the third line is where things get really confusing because we have, we have Scott Lawton, who's definitely going to be the third line centerman. That's not a question. Then we have Andrew Shaw, Colton Sissons, and Mike and Mitch Skapsky. There's actually a lot of love for Skapsky. I was reading over the comments. Everyone's saying, keep Skapsky, keep Skapsky. He's 82. He's only 22, so he's still young. He hasn't really proved himself at the NHL level quite yet. Uh, I mean, last year was his rookie year. He was a plus player, which I'm not going to complain about. 12 goals, 5 helpers. He's definitely a goal scorer. Got to kind of play him with some playmakers. So, Skapsky, we're going to keep him. There's no question about that. That. But now Colton Sissons. Honestly, I think we're going to have to let Sissons walk to free agency. His contract's up for this year. He's been good. There's no question about that. Plus, you know, plus 20, 32 points last year. We just have players coming up like Nikolai Eliers, who could possibly be 82, 83, 84 overall next year. And we got to play our young players. They're ready to play. I'm hoping that Bjorkstrand gets a little bit of a jump too. If he gets to be like 82, 83, he might even need one more year in the minors. Although he is 23, I don't want to, you know, waste him, but I'm going to start him probably in the minors because I don't really know what to do with the squad, but we might have to have let S Colton Sissons walk and then try to figure out what we're going to do here. But defenseman is going to be, you know, we're not going to touch our d defensive courts. Arguably one of the best in the whole league. Truba, Morrissey, Bufflin, Myers, Alexiak, and D'Angelo. That's great. So what I'm thinking is probably next year Malosh is going to be NHL ready so what I'm going to do with Malosh is probably keep him for next year and then probably trade either Dustin Bufflin or Tyler Myers for next year because Dustin Bufflin yeah he's our captain but he's only getting older right um but then again, he's still a NHL cal like a top tier NHL caliber defenseman. 43 points, 82 games, like you know, 63 points, 43 points, plus 28. He's an absolute force out there. So I think the odd man out will probably be Tyler Myers, and then have Malosh kind of squeak in there. But that is for next year. And then we have a huge goaltending controversy: Eric Comrie or the the veteran, the Vesna Trophy, Stanley Cup winning veteran James Reimer. Honestly, I respect player loyalty a little bit. I want to keep James Reimer. He has been amazing for us. No question about that. So what I think is going to happen is we're going to go ahead and re-sign both of the goalies right now. Uh, one year, only 1.4. You know what? That's an okay contract. I'll take that. This is a year for Eric Comrie to prove himself to be an NHL caliber goalie. I have no problem giving you a one-year deal. As for James Reimer, we're going to re-sign him as well. Four years at three mil. I can do that. I can definitely do that. That is a tradable contract. He's he's 30 years old. He's listed as a starting goalie. You know what's uh, what's Eric Comrie? Does he does this show what he's listed at here? I'm just hoping that Comrie can get to be you know 86, 87 for next year, and then I'll kind of eliminate our goaltending controversy. Then we'll have to say you know our Reimer, uh, the young kid has to play. But we're going into the regular season with both goalies. I'm not going to trade one right now. I'm going into the regular season with both. We're going to see what they progress to over the course of over the course of the off season. 
season here. So we're going to go ahead and re-sign Jamie Alexiak. He's been a beast out there. We'll give you four years, four mil at uh, three years. That's pretty decent. We'll give you that. Colton Sissons, we're going to just tender qualifying offer. If if somebody wants to sign him in free agency, we'll get some sort of draft pick and compensation for that. But as for right now, basically consider Colton Sissons off the team. Uh, Bavin Sev is a rookie who I forgot to re-sign there. We'll give you a contract. Like, we have so many prospects. It's ridiculous. Philip Forsberg, we're definitely going to re-sign you. I'll give you the exact same contract. Four mil for three years. I like that deal a lot. Uh, that is actually a bargain for Philip Forsberg. That's really sick. Oliver Bjorkstrand, if he doesn't progress to be like an 82 or like an 81 by next year, he's starting the year in the minors. He's still going to be listed as a depth forward. So uh, Anthony D'Angelo, we're definitely going to give a contract to you. 1.4 for three. I like that. That is a very cheap contract. Jay Money, Josh Morrissey. We should lock this guy up. Let's lock him up for five years. Let's give him 4.5 for five years. That's a pretty good contract. I mean, in five years, I expect Josh Morrissey to be a top two tier defenseman in the NHL. So we can definitely go ahead and give him that contract. Hopefully he comes. And oops, actually, that's all of the players, actually. So that's pretty cool. That's all the players that we have to resign. Um, I, I just want to quickly have a quick look here. That's everybody. Just make sure I didn't miss anyone that's basically everyone but look at our like uh prospect and core here it's just ridiculous like like all of these players like look at all these guys we have coming up ethan price we have we have skapsky nikolai aliers babinsev we have bjorkstrand we have this gillies guy we have patan we have bickle we have lemieux we have watson watson's probably going to be off the off the team if i can find a, a better fourth line centerman uh but we have you know uh, askew we have all these players ty comrie tyson bailey uh this mcandrews guy Colton Sissons. We have so many players and we have so many goaltending prospects as well. So I might have to trade Peter Lee or this uh, Carpo Coca Nining guy uh, if we can find, you know, one starting goalie for the AHL. I don't want to have, you know, three. AHL goalies that are minor starter goalies. That makes no sense to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into the uh, free agency here. Philip Forsberg, Jim Lexiak, Sam Bavinsev, D'Angelo, everyone's back. That's nice. We have 49 players under contract. So what we're going to have to do here, I don't think we're going to sign anyone in free agency that's going to be a roster player. Uh, if anything, we're going to trade players. But I kind of want to wait to see what everyone progresses to. I will check out any prospects if there is any uh, really good prospects out there. I will go ahead and have a look at them. Uh, obviously, some free agents here are uh, Johansson, Stastny, no one really worth even going after. Chris Stieg, no thank you. Uh, Dmitry Orlov, Sa uh, Simon Dupre, no one really that we need. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass on this one. Lyndon Vey, uh, Colton Sissons there, so I assume someone is just going to uh, tender a qualifying offer to him, and I'll take, you know, the third round pick, whatever I get from him, but he is good. He's not a bad player at all. I would love to keep him, but we just have too many prospects prospects coming up. Let's check the goalies here. Any decent goalies available? Uh, Brian Elliott, Kari Ramo, no thank you. Holy shit, look at this guy. 78 overall. Why are you in free agency? Oh man, see, okay, so there's two. Wow, okay, this could be really, really good here. So there's two uh, absolutely franchise, potential franchise goalies here. Alex Burrow, it looks like, and Cole Keller. Cole Keller was a third overall pick, and this... Uh, Burrow guy was a seventh overall pick. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sign both of them. I'm going to trade one back to their original team, and I'm going to keep the other. Uh, that's actually going to eliminate our minor. See, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. Uh, these guys are definitely going to be minor st starters. I will, uh, I got to go ahead and actually have we have 49 players, so what I have to do is trade one crappy player right now. So if we do potentially get both of the goalies, we can uh, we can trade one back. I'll get like a fifth round pick. I won't get like a like a first round pick or anything like that. But uh, goalies matching blocks. So what I want to do is get rid of uh, this Coca Heinen guy. Um, we'll go ahead and trade you to like Toronto for like a draft pick if possible, because uh, he's oh what he's um he's how old is he? he's a minor starting goalie. He's 21. He's got lots of potential, but we have lots of goalies coming up, and I'm okay with that. So, can I get, like, a third for Koka Heinen, or whatever his name is? I'd probably get, like, a second. Can I get a second? Nah, that might go through uh, if they want him. You know, try to find a team that actually wants him. Anyone's in green. So, Montreal actually wants him. Can I get 
a second for this guy, that'd be actually really, really sick. A second for Kapo Kokahainen, didn't quite go through. What if I add, like, a seventh and, like, a fourth? Will that go through? There you go. We got a second round pick from the Habs. I am happy with that. But what I want to do is sign both of those goalies, trade one back to their original team, and then keep one. That would be actually ideal. Because, uh, you know, the game is broken in that in that way. They uh, I don't know what the goaltenders do. Uh, I don't know what the teams are even thinking by not wanting to re-sign these guys. But it's pretty dumb, but we're going to give them max contracts. Hopefully we get both. Uh, if we just get one, I'm all right, I'm all right with that too. Because regardless, one of them is going to go to an NHL team. But uh, let's quickly check here. Do we going to get one? In case we didn't get this Barrow guy. Okay, we got Cole and Keller. So we didn't get Barrow, but we got Cole Keller. So now what that means is we can... Uh, we got to eliminate our goaltending controversy here in the AHL. We have so many goaltending controversies. Uh, what I want to do, though, is trade negotiations and see what goalies we actually have available. So, uh, goal or rookie goalie, I just want to go to goalies straight up. So, this Keller guy, man, he could be he could be the next Eric Comrie. So, wow, this changes things a lot. So, now that we have this Keller guy, uh, we have 285s, we have... I gotta trade one of these guys. I gotta trade Peter Lee or McCollum. Uh, Peter Lee or McCollum. McCollum was the guy that we drafted uh, in the first round. He's a first round pick. I kind of want to let him grow. Uh, Peter Lee, honestly, might be the odd man now. He's got a lot of potential. He's got the red potential, though. Oh, we have so many goaltending players. We have so many good quality goalies here. But this guy could really, you know, step in the shoes of Comrie and of. Uh, he's gonna take a couple years, but he could easily easily step in and be our number one goalie in, th you know, f three or four years. So let's keep everything where it is right now. Let's not make any crazy trades right now. We'll head to the start of the regular season. I'm going to skip to the uh, start of the regular season here. I'm not going to make any trades. We got our second round pick, but what I want to do is just have a look at the team. What's going to happen? Are, do we have to make any trades at all? Who is Who progressed? Who got worse? Who got a lot better? I will see you guys in about a millisecond. All right, so this is kind of what I wanted to have. Happen. Colton Sissons has been tendered a $1.8 million contract for the next three years by the Columbus Blue Jackets. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take the compensation of a third round pick. So thank you, Colton Sissons. You've been awesome. We just, you know, ran out of room for you, unfortunately. So there you go. We got a third round pick. We're getting some draft picks here. Even though we don't really need draft picks, we have so many players. But we'll have a look at who progressed and then we'll hop into the regular season. You guys will probably get two GM modes out today. I'll uh, probably do the one right now and then have another one out right after this. Uh, probably do like a month or two of simulation with the team and then we can kind of see if we need to make any tweaks or any changes but we have the team in place to you know repeat a Stanley Cup. There's no question about that. Uh, here comes the owner saying okay it's off season is over and you're sitting at your fifth year at the helm of the Winnipeg Jets. Been here for five years already. I'm looking for 37 wins from the team this year so I hope the choices you made in the off season can pay dividends and get out there and win. Okay so now we got to see... Oh, that's going to be a huge start to the offseason here. We could we could see some big moves happening. Uh, let's go to forwards and start with the WHL like I always do. Ooh, there's a top five there. Uh, top five. Anyone else actually? Let's see if there's any really like, franchise guys. Keith. Okay, we'll go in the OHL right now. Then we'll make our way uh, to the to the QMJHL and then to the WHL. But how did people progress? Let's check out the squad right now. Uh, Paul Correa stayed the exact same. Uh, Shifley the exact same. And Solani the exact same. Okay, that sucks. I was hoping that Solani and uh, Correa would even go up like one or two. But, you know, having a 92 and a 93, not many teams have that. Plus the extra team that we have, we are sitting very, very nice right now. Palat, Hurdle, and Forsberg all did not get any, any upgrades. Skapsky, Lawton, Andrew Shaw. Okay, so this is where it kind of gets interesting. That's obviously not how it's going to be. I'll have to call some players up, but uh, Jay Money didn't even get an upgrade. Wow. Honestly, I thought he would be like 87, 88 overall after, you know, after having amazing years, 50 points. Uh, he is only 23, though, so he has lots of time to progress. He had 20 points in 26 games last year. He was a B. So we're going to stay with uh, Truba and Big Buff. We're going to go Morrissey, Myers, D'Angelo, and Alexiak. And then 
goalie is going to be okay. So Comrie is now 86 overall. So he is an 86 overall goaltender now. But honestly, I think we got to start the kid. We got to start Comrie. Uh, this is so confusing. I don't know what to do right now. This is this is uh, this is rough. This is I don't know what to do. I honestly have no. I'm lost for words because I don't really know what to do. Uh, Nikolai, that's what I'm talking about. 83 overall. He is coming up to the team, no question. So what we have to do? Uh, bring him up. Absolutely. He's listed as a depth forward, but he's 83. Come on. Look at Bjorkstrand. He's only an 80 listed as a depth forward as well. So do we give Bjorkstrand one more year in the minors? Uh, Kevin Fowler. Okay, we'll have a look here at the Winnipeg Jets. Okay, so we have a couple of options here. So it's going to be Skapsky, Lawton, and Nikolai Ellers for the fourth for the third line. I like that a lot. Illiers is progressing perfectly. Look at that skating category. His physical category is obviously really, really weak, but that is where Scott Lawton comes in. He's got an absolute beast physical category, and he's just an all-around really good player. 81 face-offs. He is the best third liner we're going to get right now. So Skapsky is, as well. He's the question mark. He's got the sick offensive stats. Kind of unproven, though, only having the one year. Looking for a really good sophomore year from Skapsky. I was kind of surprised surprised he didn't progress either. So you know what I just actually did? I just reset the game. I saved and I am back in it now because apparently the players, their overalls like jump up after you exit the game and then come back in. I remember there was a couple comments and telling me that. So now we can actually see what the lineup is like if anyone did progress. Uh, no one actually progressed. That was just a big waste of, waste of time. Really? No one actually progressed? Oh, that sucks. I thought that it would actually uh, improve a little bit. Um, but one thing I did notice here, Anthony D'Angelo is now at 83, so he's progressing very, very nicely, uh, but this is probably how the team is going to look. I do have a big question mark, though. Do we play Lipon here? He's listed as a fourth liner. He's 25 years old. He's paid his dues in the AHL, no question about that, but do we bring up Bjorkstrand, who's listed as a depth who's only listed as a depth forward. Oh, Malosh is now a top six. See, that's why I, oh man, we got we got problems on problems on problems, but they're good problems. They're not problems that, you know, they're not problems that uh, are bad at all because we can easily fix them. It's just trading more players, but to make the, the young players fit. So Malosh is now a top six and his stats are sick. Uh, pfft, I don't want to get rid of anyone. <laughs> that sucks. Okay, I'm, I'm going to bring up... Oliver Bjorkstrand, and I'm going to send down, where is he? I'm going to send down JC Lippon to the minors. I'm going to give Bjorkstrand the fourth line left wing. Uh, we'll quickly just do that. So it's going to be uh, Ellers. No, no, no. You're going there, and then you're going depending on what wing you play. You're a left wing, so you'll play on the left wing. And Skapsky is a left wing, but I would much rather Ellers progress than Skapsky. Although Skapsky will probably progress in, his, in that position regardless. Regardless, Bjorkstrand is gonna get the uh, is gonna get the right wing minutes there, uh, and then that's how that's gonna look. We're gonna start the regular season the way it is, and then you guys, I'm gonna do two months of simulation. The next video might be a little bit shorter, and then you guys can tell me all of the lines. We're gonna go with the baselines right now, go with exactly what we have on paper right now, quickly go through it, and then you guys can tell me what we want to do for the next episode, for the next episode after the next episode. So from two episodes from now, you guys are going to tell me exactly I want to see lots of comments in there what we have to do uh, and want to make sure that goalie is getting the start look at this now we have another goaltending controversy Peter Lee is probably listed as a backup so we got to trade Lee and then have McCollum and uh, Keller there oh god this is just ridiculous we have so many players this is our problem we have so many quality players that we we don't have the room for them and it, it just sucks but thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode where we get a couple months of simulation done and hopefully we can, uh, we can address our our controversies and just move on and hopefully repeat as Stanley Cup champions as the Winnipeg Jets. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.